going to show you how easy it is to import ZBrush displaced models and set them up for rendering in Messiah. Uh, the first thing you'll need to do obviously is find a model that you can displace. I happen to find one on Pixar Logic's website. This Human Head 3 model worked really well for this demonstration, so let's use that. So we'll just first load up the model and you'll immediately notice that from the left view you can see that it's very very large but we'll just roll with that we'll make sure that we're, we've rotated it back up so that it's negative 90 degrees and you can see here we need to click this pitch flip to get the coordinates right we'll switch to the camera view pull back and then we'll just translate up a little bit and then pitch it down so that we're looking at it at a nice angle maybe zoom in a bit more there we go and now we'll just select the human head and rotate it around so we have a nice three-quarter view of it uh, switching the draw mode to texture and edges you can see that it's pretty raw pretty low resolution model but just by hitting tab you can switch that to a sub D model and it's already a lot smoother looking so that's all we'll do setting up the scene we'll switch over to the render tab and have a look at the material that's brought in it's just default and there's no color or anything to it so we'll just want to put the image the displace image into the bump right here so to do that we're going to create a new texture map and open that up so that we can see all of its outputs and put the color output into the base of the materials bump input we'll want to pick the image human head displace tiff and we'll want to make it a UV and because it's a OBJ import, there's only one option. Um, Lightwave objects, sometimes you have to pick which UV map you want to use, UV coordinate name you want to use. The other values we'll need to look at is remap. We're going to want it to carve the displacement to carve into the model as well as extrude out from the model. So you need to click on this remap button here. And for some very strange reason, ZBrush requires you to flip the UV's coordinates on the V uh, so that it maps up correctly with what you're expecting. I don't know why it does that but because it does you can easily turn that on to flip it over. Uh, so what we're going to want to do now is go into the base material and actually give it some bump. Um, it's a very subdued subtle um, displacement map and the model is scaled really big so we're going to need to put a big value in here normally you deal with like 0 0.1, 0 0.01 but because of the scale and the subtlety of the texture map uh, we're going to go really big there and put a f value of 5 in there now it won't render without you actually telling it to displace so what you need to do is go down to your model and in the displacement appearance switch it from maximum displace of 0 to 1 which allows it to to displace and the sub level here you want to set that at about 12 um, on 32-bit version of Messiah you're going to want to start lower than that and just watch your memory usage save before you render but with the 64-bit version you can just crank that up and feel pretty safe because you can see a lot more memory before we render we're going to want to make sure to turn off the ground object that's part of the camera and the background we're probably going to want to make something a little less annoying than that uh, gray that it defaults that blue that it defaults to so we'll just do kind of a uh, gun gray so I think we've set everything up we're just going to want to switch the anti-aliasing to adaptive I like to put that to 4 as my minimum my AA pattern I like Poisson BC for my output I'm gonna want to bump up the number of files thread files that it uses to 16 so that it renders faster um, 
and that's about it I think when we render we'll see a nice image it's nicely displaced everything looks nice renders in 10 seconds and that's how you set up displacement in Messiah